Hi everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So if you're new here then hello, welcome, my name is Ruby. Today's video is all about homeware. So I'm so excited because if you guys didn't know then homeware, interior design, everything like that is a really big passion of mine and it's something that I get really excited about. So I'll probably get very excited talking through this video but I want to do a video because I often get asked about uh, kind of a few things. I often get asked, you know, what to buy a friend when they've just moved house or they've just bought a new house uh, or ways to make your home feel like nice and homely or, you know, people who have just bought a house and what they should be looking to buy to kind of decorate it and stuff like that. So I thought I would do a little video on it basically. So I think this is going to be maybe like a little kind of two part video. So the first part, I'm going to be chatting about all of my favorite kind of decor accessories and the things that I feel really do make a house a home and then I think I'm going to do a second video talking more about like the bigger things so like furniture uh, and the sort of things to kind of invest in and to spend your money on and stuff like that so today's video as you will have guessed from the title is all about the decor which is my absolute favorite bit there's nothing better than moving into a new home and being able to get all your little bits and bobs out and set them up nicely I just love it like it's my favorite thing to do and if I lived in America I would definitely go into stage which if you don't know is basically when you're trying to sell your house and people come in and they put like their kind of decor touch onto it to make it look really nice in order to sell it so yeah sounds like my dream job but anyway <laughs> I've kind of wrapped it on for a long enough time now so I'm just gonna get in with the video I have a few pieces here to show you but I don't have loads so uh, I'm gonna kind of show you what I've got and then I'll also show you the pieces kind of in situ around my house because I just thought it made a little bit more sense for you guys to see them kind of in the spot they're in if that kind of makes sense so yeah let's get on with it i just want to pop a quick disclaimer in here i do also talk about it at the end of the video but i just want to say these are just ideas and it's i'm in no way saying that you must buy these things in order for your home to be nice and cozy it purely is just ideas for those of you who are looking to kind of decorate your home style your home up or you've you know just got a new place and you want to get a few little things to make it nice and cozy that's all it is you don't need to get all of the things that I show you if you want to obviously you're welcome to but I don't want anyone to feel any pressure because obviously owning a home renting a home is super expensive as it is but these are just some little ideas and you can obviously also get a lot of these things a lot cheaper whether you're buying it from you know secondhand stores Facebook marketplace eBay stuff like that so yeah just wanted to pop that in here and we can get on with the video now. So I think for me, the reason why I like to spend quite a lot of my income on homeware is because, especially at the moment, your home is your safe place. It's where you spend probably most of your time uh, and it's it's yours, like you, whether you're renting, you're owning, whatever it is, even if it's your bedroom in your parents' house, that is your space to do with it what you want. So if you're spending all of your time in that space, that's gonna kind of affect your mood and affect kind of the way you work, especially with everyone working from home and stuff at the moment. So I personally think it's so important to have a really nice space and yeah, just to have something that you feel happy and you feel comfortable that you wake up and you look at and you think oh that makes me so happy and I always find that certain like homeware decor pieces do really bring me joy so yeah that's kind of how I feel about sort of homeware and why I think it's so important because at the end of the day it's the environment that you're in and it needs to be something that you feel kind of works for you and makes you happy so yeah that's why I feel like quite passionate about it but okay let's start with some of the things that I think really do help to kind of elevate your home a little bit and just make it more homely and a little bit more kind of yours to kind of put your own stamp on it and everything like that so first thing i'm going to start with is photos photo frames everything like that i mean this is a pretty obvious one to be honest so i probably don't really need to talk through this too much i mean as you can see i have some here at the side but I have these dotted around my house everywhere because they just make me so happy. I have them of our friends and family, I have them of travels we've been on, stuff like that, and they just make me so happy. So I want to show you like a few frames and stuff that I really like. Uh, in terms of the best places to buy frames, I always think HomeSense is brilliant. Obviously it's not open at the moment, but hopefully, do you know what, when this video goes live, it may well be back open, I'm not sure. But yeah, HomeSense is a great place to buy frames. But I also love getting them from places like H&M Home, Zara Home, they're really, really good. Etsy have really good ones too. Ikea, White Company. These two here, one is from the White Company and one is from Ikea, so they're really, really great ones. So some of my favorite frames are the glass ones. So for example, 
like these so this is from zara home and as you can see we just have like a photo booth photo in this one and then i put a postcard in this one and this is something that i love doing i saw this postcard and it really reminded me of me and sam as a couple and i just think it's a really nice way of bringing like a little bit of kind of art into your home so art doesn't have to be really expensive it doesn't have to be kind of like unattainable stuff it can literally be a postcard that you found in a shop like i think this cost me I think this is actually a greetings card and I think it cost me about two pounds and I just love it. I think it looks so nice. So yeah, love that. So this is from Zara Home. And then I have another one that's very similar. I really like black and white photos in a photo frame. I don't know what it is about it. I just think it looks like, I don't know, really nice. And I don't know what it is. I just really like it. So I thought I'd show you these as some of my kind of favorite ones. As I said, that one's from Zara Home. This one was from H&M Home. So I will link them if I can. Another nice thing to do with those glass frames is pop some Polaroids in them. So I'll pop a video on screen of me doing that. Uh, it's kind of how I display my Polaroids because I know often some people kind of wonder how to do that. So I'll pop that on screen now. So I think photo frames can be a really, really nice gift if you're looking to buy someone something who has just bought their home or just moved into a new flat or whatever it is. I think they can be a really nice kind of, really kind of personal present. So another thing that I think is also a great present to buy or generally just something to get if you are moving into a new place is books. My house is full of books. I love reading as it is, but I also think books are amazing because they just add like a little bit more of like personality to a house so you can really kind of display like what you're interested in and that sort of thing. Like I'm really into travel, so I have a lot of travel books. I'm also really into fashion, so I have a lot of fashion books too. You can also use books as a type of art. So I have some of my books displayed front cover forward, as you will see on the video here, which I think looks really, really nice. And it's just a little bit different as well. And also you can display them open as well. So I have a glass coffee table and I have a book open on one of my favorite pictures of the Amalfi Coast which I think is a really nice way of sort of displaying your books too but books are also just brilliant for styling so for shelves for tables everything like that as you'll see over here I'm just going to pan you around so I have some books just up here and these are very like neutral ones they go with the tone of my bedroom and they just look nice kind of stacked like that as you can see I've got like a little shell over there too so they make really, really good styling pieces and you can get books for all sorts of different prices. Obviously you can spend quite a lot on them, but you can also get them for really cheap as well from places like charity shops, secondhand bookstores, stuff like that. So I'm gonna show you a few of my favorites. So this is definitely one of my favorite books and it is the Eat, Drink, Nap book from Soho House. So it's kind of like a linen feel. Uh, and why I always look out for books when I am buying them is what this part looks like because essentially when this is stacked on a shelf or something that is what you're gonna see so I always make sure that kind of looks nice and kind of goes with my aesthetic so this is a really gorgeous book actually it's got loads of recipes in and stuff like that hang on I'll show you it and I hold it up so yeah it has loads of like recipes and kind of stuff like that in just like country vibes uh, some decor as well, but uh, not gonna lie, I do mostly use this for decoration, and I'm sure there's gonna be people out there that don't agree with that, but whatever, that's your opinion. Uh, so I just think having books in the house just makes it look really cozy and homely, shows off your interest, and also adds to the decor as well, so you can't really go wrong. So this is around the 30 pound mark, I believe. I will link it down below. It's a really good one to have. It's lovely, nice kind of neutral tones, and yeah, it'll just look really nice in a lounge or a kitchen or wherever you want it. I just really like it. So another one of my favorite books is this one. So this is the White Company book and it's called For the Love of White, The White and Neutral Home. Again, I like this one because it is very neutral and I absolutely love the decor inside. It's just stunning. I actually bought this for a friend who recently bought a new place and um, she loved it. And I just think with this, it just fits in really well with anybody's kind of decor. So I'd say it's a really good gift for people. It's absolutely stunning inside. Like, oh my God. The inspo is just so, so beautiful. Let's see if I can show you like a few more. So it's a great one also just to flick through to get some inspiration, but it also looks really, really nice stacked up on your shelf. So yeah, love that one. So talking about sort of trying to save money where you can, obviously buying a house or renting a house or a flat or anything is super expensive. So it's great to be able to save money where you can. And books is definitely a place where you definitely can. So there are so many good ones that can be found in charity shops, antiques markets, secondhand bookstores, stuff like that. So this one here is actually one that my mum had when she was younger. So it's the Art of Vogue photographic covers. As you can see, it's pretty kind of battered and warm, but I quite like that. Uh, so yeah, I love this. It's really, really cool. It has loads of kind of 
vintagey covers and stuff like that but it's also just a nice way to kind of pass the time obviously when we're not in lockdown is to be able to go through and hunt out some good coffee table books or you know bookshelf books and stuff so yeah there's that as well that you can do okay so next up i wanted to chat to you about this so this is kind of going within the whole photo album and also coffee table book vibe so this is please excuse it's a little bit dusty uh just from where it's been out on display but this is a coffee table photo album and it's by the brand printworks and i love these they do loads of different styles of these but what i love about it is that it looks like a coffee table book so it's really really nice and like aesthetically pleasing but inside I show you inside it is I've, mine is blank because I'm actually waiting I'm going to fill this up with pictures from my wedding but the wedding that hasn't happened yet <laughs> but uh yeah you can fill it up with photos and I think this is so nice because especially in the era of like phones and you know technology and stuff we often forget to print our photos and they just live on our phones or our computers and nobody else sees them sometimes so I think it's so nice to have something like this on your coffee table so that when we are eventually allowed to have guests around they can just have a little flick through or whatever it's just like a nice talking point and yeah it's just a nice way of being able to display all of your photos while still kind of going nicely with the decor of your room they do so many different colors loads of different kind of phrases on the front they also do a brilliant one if you have children which is like it looks like an artwork book like a coffee table artwork book but it's blank inside so you can stick your children's art in it and i can imagine being a parent and like having all this art and not knowing what to do with it is really tough so that's a really good one too there's baby ones there's loads of them so i really really recommend checking them out and it makes such a gorgeous present i actually made one of these for our friend's wedding anniversary uh, and I popped loads of pictures from their wedding in and yeah, it's just a nice little, nice gift that kind of means something, but yeah, really, really like this. So next up, I wanna chat about art and prints and posters and everything like that. So I think this is very similar to books and photo frames. It's such a nice way of personalizing your home, putting your own kind of unique touch on it. They make lovely gifts as well. And I just absolutely love them. So I'm gonna chat about a few that I have, but I would also link below loads of good websites to buy prints from. I know obviously Desenio is really, really popular, but perhaps if you're looking for stuff that's like a little bit more unique, there's other good websites. Etsy is great. Uh, Truva is another really good one. One. Um, Art Republic is a good one too. I'm trying to think off the top of my head, but I'll pop them all down below anyway. I just think prints really add that like sense of interest into a house and again, can kind of convey your personality and also just look really cool as well. So I'm gonna show you a few that I love. So this first one I was actually given as a present, so I don't actually know where it's from, but I love the colours in it, and I do think having print and artwork in your home is a really nice way of experimenting with colour. Like if you wanna kinda keep the walls and everything like that white, but having prints can really bring in a nice pop of colour. So there's that one there, which I will try and link down below. Next up is this one, which I actually picked up from the Royal Academy of Art. Uh, this is a Picasso print but obviously like it's just the print. So it was really affordable. I think it was around 30 pounds and it's uh, frames and everything like that. I don't think they sell this is that one anymore, but they definitely do sell similar ones. So that's a really nice idea is to go on sort of like galleries and stuff like that. And they often have a shop section where you can shop the prints that are shown in the gallery. And it's just a much more affordable way of having art in your home. Again, as I said before, even things like greetings cards, postcards, stuff like that are a nice thing to frame. I love doing stuff like that even magazine covers or anything like that. There's so many things that you can frame that just, you know, show a little bit of your personality and can look so, so nice dotted around your home. So as I said, I will link some of my favorites down below and I'll also have put some on the uh, video here to show you some other ones that I have around my home. So next up, I wanna chat about sort of greenery and plants and dried flowers and foliage and stuff like that. So I personally think adding this to your room or your house is so nice because it just brings in like a natural element and it really kind of just ties the room in together, especially if you have like a green kind of plant or something, it's just nice and fresh. And yeah, it's so nice. So I have them dotted around the house everywhere. So the first one that I wanna talk about, which are great if you have shelves, is this one. So this is a string of pearls, I believe. It's not real, it's fake. You can probably tell that. But from far away, you definitely can't tell. And I have this hanging from a shelf, so I'll show you what it looks like. But I just think this really adds something to the room. Like you've kind of really thought about it and it just looks lovely and fresh and natural and just brings another color into the room and another kind of dimension. So these are brilliant. And these hanging ones look so nice hanging from shelves and stuff. 
Uh, I did have a real one of these, but I did kill it. I'm not great with faux, um, real plants. So yeah, if you are not either, then I'd recommend starting out on some fake ones and then kind of working your way <laughs> onto some real ones. But this one is a great one to kind of get you started. And there's, you know, loads of places you can buy affordable faux plants from. So yeah, I'll uh, link some of my favorites down below again. So another <laughs> favorite thing to have is eucalyptus. I honestly think eucalyptus is one of the best fake plants because it actually does look really real. So this is all fake eucalyptus and I just think it it's kind of like looks a little bit kind of like I've just chucked them in there, but actually I haven't ever really thought about it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just think it really does kind of add a little bit to the room, uh, some nice color in there. And I think it's a really, really pretty plant as well. So these are just eucalyptus stems. I'm pretty sure you can buy them for like a couple of pound per stem and they're pretty timeless as well, which is great. So next up, I wanna talk about dried flowers because you guys will probably know how popular these are and they have been for a few years now. I just think they're so nice. They're a great investment because they last for such a long time, but they look so pretty in your home. So I'm gonna pop a video on screen now of some that I have from Truva, which is so lovely. They're really varied. We have loads of different stuff in there. There's like pampas, dried eucalyptus, poppy seeds, uh, loads of stuff in there. So I really, really like them. And I think it's a nice way of bringing a kind of rustic look into your home. Perhaps if your home is quite modern and you wanna kind of make it feel a little bit more kind of rustic and kind of country feel, I think it's a really nice way of bringing that in. I also think it's so nice to have kind of little sprigs coming out of a small vase or like some lavender or something, dried lavender in the kitchen. It also smells amazing. So dried flowers is such a good way to go. And again, I will link my favorites down below. So obviously if we're talking flowers and you know, eucalyptus and stuff like that, we're gonna need some nice vases. And I think vases is firstly a really, really nice gift to buy someone. But I also think they just make a nice piece to have out all the time as well. So I'm gonna show you a few of the vases that I love. This first one, which has the eucalyptus in. So if you don't know about me, but I love homeware that's a little bit different and a little bit of a talking point and yeah, just kind of interesting. So, which this definitely is. This is an Anissa Kermish vase. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you know I'm obsessed with these. It's absolutely beautiful. Obviously it's a woman's body and yeah, they're just stunning vases and they make such a good talking point. This is out in our hallway and literally, obviously we don't have people around anymore, but when we did, everyone used to comment on it and be like, wow. So I think vases are a lovely gift to buy people. This one is quite expensive. So this obviously maybe wouldn't be right for everybody, but I did want to chat about it because it looks so cute with the eucalyptus. I love it. And then I'm going to show you a few more affordable options. So this one is from H&M Home. And as you can see, it's all kind of twisted and kind of dented and stuff. And I absolutely love that. And I love glass vases. I just think they're so pretty, especially when the light reflects off them and stuff like that. This was pretty affordable. I can't remember the exact price, but I think it was around the 30 pound mark. And it's a little bit different as well, which I love. Doesn't kind of look like something that everybody else would have. So H&M Home is a great place to get your vases. Zara Home, again, is also really good. I also love little mini vases like this. So this is from the White Company. I think it was about £10. And I just think this is so cute, especially when you have like one single kind of flower coming out of it. Or even if you don't have anything in it, it just looks really nice kind of on top of a table or a shelf or something like that. It's really, really cute. And again, the light reflects off this so nicely. This is another vase that I have. As you can tell, I love vases, but this is definitely more of a decorative one. It isn't probably one that you would put like many flowers in or anything because it's got quite a small kind of neck. But this was 20 pounds, I believe, and it's from the brand Nakuku, I wanna say. I'm probably saying that wrong, but uh, it's really nice. It has the gold detailing here, and I love the kind of hammered effect of the glass there, kind of like, I don't know what you call that, but this is really nice as well. So there's so many vases you can get for a really affordable price and it really does kind of just add a little something to the room, add some texture and um, I just love them. <laughs> I love them so much and they make really good presents and they're nice for like styling as well. Like whether you have some vases stacked on some books, like for example, that white company one I showed you just there, I'm gonna pan around again but I have that stacked on those books there. So they make a really good styling piece as well. So that's that one. So next up, I wanna to talk to you about smell and sort of candles, diffusers, stuff like that. So for me, smell is so important in a home because it reminds you of your home. You know, it's so nice when you walk in the front door and you smell your favorite candle or your diffuser or something like that. And it's just kind of like a bit of an identity of your home. So I think smell is so important and I'm forever buying different candles and burning them. So I'm gonna chat a little bit about some candles that I love so first up we have the diptyque range so diptyque obviously have beautiful candles this is the mm, how am i going to say that bay 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 bays bays <laughs> i don't know how to say it but 
Oh, it's so, so nice. So I think candles are a lovely gift to buy people because often when you've just bought a home, they're kind of an expense that you don't want to kind of spend money on because they can be quite expensive. So I think candles are such a good gift. I don't think you can really go wrong with them either as long as they're not super, super strong scent. I really think you can go wrong with them. And again, they look great styling wise. They look really nice stacked on some books. And yeah, I just love them so much. So a few of my favorite brands of candles, obviously is the White Company, Jo Malone do great ones, Neom do really, really good ones. And if you're looking for some affordable ones, H&M Home do the best candles and they're always in really beautiful jars, which I think is great because obviously then when you burnt the candle down, you can use it as like a little trinket jar, which I think is such a nice thing to have around the house. So yeah, they do some really good ones. Where else does good ones? Espa do really nice ones. Uh, you can get, you know, home scents do amazing ones. You can get them in all sorts of places, but I definitely don't think they should be something that's overlooked uh, when you're thinking about kind of decorating your home. And then while we're on the topic of scents, I also think diffusers make such lovely gifts. So I have two here to show you. So this is the White Company Spa one. It's my favorite. It's what I have in our bedroom and our bathroom. It really does smell like a spa. It's so relaxing. It's really soothing. And just whenever I smell it, I'm just like, oh, I just feel like I'm at home, if that makes sense. So that's one that I really recommend. The White Company do great ones, as do all the um, brands that I just mentioned. And then there's also this, which is a Neom diffuser pod. So I got this for Christmas a few years back. And basically what you do is you put essential oils in it. So you can use the Neom ones, but you don't have to. And then it kind of like releases like a steam of these oils into the air. And I think this is so, so nice, especially where we are spending so much time at home at the moment, just to have like a nice relaxing evening with this on. It smells gorgeous. And it just makes your like your home feel quite luxurious, which I think is so important as well. So I'd really, really recommend this and I will link it down below. So the next thing I wanna chat about is soft furnishing. So I'm aware for some people this video might be like very obvious, but I wanted to kind of include like a whole list of everything so that people could refer back to them. And also those who are just starting out in homeware and stuff and may not know sort of like where to start, hopefully this video is useful. So soft furnishings is rugs, cushions, blankets, everything like that. So obviously I know you guys know like getting a nice cushion and stuff is really nice for your sofa, but I just wanted to kind of show you one of my favorite cushions. And obviously I will link some down below as well. So I also feel like cushions can basically be like art in your home too. So this is one of my favorite ones. I'll link it down below. It's like a little face and it's kind of abstract. And I just think it looks so nice and it definitely adds a little bit more kind of like kind of like another element to the room, like more texture. And as I said, it's kind of like a piece of art too. So I love that. And then in terms of blankets and stuff like that, I think it's so nice to have blankets in a home. Again, it's really, really cozy. And something that I think is so nice is to have a blanket basket. So I have this in our lounge and it, all it is, is like a rattan basket where I have a few blankets in, maybe a cushion, whatever you want to put in there. And I personally think it just looks so nice and cozy and homely. And obviously it's a nice way of storing your blanket blankets as well, but also having them out on display. So yeah, I really recommend doing that if you are looking to kind of make your home that little bit cozier, having a nice blanket basket in your lounge or your bedroom or whatever it is, is such a nice thing to do. Baskets in general are a great thing to buy for your home because they're a great storage like use, but also they can look really nice as well. I have a basket in our bedroom, which has our slippers in. So that's also a nice way of kind of storing your slippers uh, and it looking nice at the same time. And just generally baskets, I have all my tech in a basket that I have up on a shelf. There are loads of great places that you can get baskets from Ikea, you know, to Zara, loads of places like that. So they're another good way of kind of optimizing your storage space, but also looking pretty at the same time. Okay, so next up, I wanna talk about something that is so important and that's lighting. So often I find the main kind of key component to making a place look like home and look really cozy is lighting. So that's lamps, that's having the right bulbs and everything like that. So let's start with lamps. So I think lamps are so important because I personally think there's nothing worse than having the big like spotlights on all day. It's not cozy and it just looks a little bit too harsh. And it also shows like how dirty your house is <laughs> if you haven't cleaned in a little while. So I'm all for lamps. So I have quite a few lamps sort of dotted around the house and I always have them on. It just feels really nice and like homely and I love them. So I have a few lamps, which I will show you as we're talking. So whether that's a floor lamp, it can be really nice to create like a little reading nook, you know, with an armchair and a lamp behind it. I think that's so, 
so nice. Or whether you have table lamps, we have one of our table lamps on a timer, which is also just a nice kind of security feature. And it's always on in the evening, which is really nice. So there's so many good places that you can buy lamps from. And then another thing that I wanted to talk about with lamps is getting the right bulb for them, because that's really important too, because there's no point having a bright white bulb uh, in your lamp, because you may as well just have your spotlights on. So when I say spotlights, I mean like down lights that are in the ceiling, if you have that, or if you have like a ceiling pendant or whatever it is. So I always opt for warm lights when I'm doing my lamps and I often opt for warm lights when I'm doing like my main lights as well because I do just think when they are too like cool white they do make a place very cold so I opt for warm lights and I often opt for filament bulbs because I'll pop a picture on screen or a video on screen but they often give off a really really nice cozy light and a bit like a vintagey kind of style light and they're also gorgeous light bulbs as well so if you're you know using them in a glass lamp like for example this here this has a filament light bulb in it you probably can't see it that clearly but they're actually really pretty to look at as well so that's kind of like another extra kind of decorative feature as well so yeah i really recommend opting for a filament bulb and obviously looking at the voltage and um, is it voltage or is it watts i think it's watts actually and i would recommend having them relatively low i have a lamp in our uh, lounge that has a two what bulb in it and it's perfect so i personally don't think lamps are there for necessarily lighting up the space but they're just there for adding some atmosphere so that's definitely something that i recommend to make a place nice and cozy is lamps lamps and more lamps <laughs> So next up, I want to chat to you about mirrors. So I love mirrors in the home. They are literally everywhere in our house. It's literally like house of mirrors, but they are brilliant because they do so many things. So they reflect the light, which is great, especially if you have them opposite a window or somewhere that gets a lot of natural light because obviously it's just gonna brighten up the space. And not only that, but they also make a place look a lot bigger as well. So that's a really good kind of I want to say a hack but it's not really a hack is to uh, put mirrors in kind of small spaces like whether that's like tight hallways and stuff like that uh, or you know I ha literally have mirrors everywhere I even have them on shelves and stuff too because I think again they add a really nice kind of decorative piece as well and they reflect the light nicely especially if perhaps you've got like a piece of art on one wall and then you have a wall opposite it I think it's really nice to pop a mirror there because then you reflect the artwork and it looks really pretty so I really really recommend investing in some mirrors mirrors can be quite expensive but you can get them cheaper especially in like charity shops, antique shops, and um, you could even like spray paint them and stuff. I've done that before. I've just bought an old wooden mirror and I've spray painted it. So there's lots of ways where you can kind of jazz up older mirrors and stuff. I also think buying like smaller versions where you can put them on shelves and stuff looks really nice as well. I've inserted a clip here of mine. So yeah, mirrors are so important. I just realized I forgot to show you this little vase uh, in my vase section, but this is the same artist that also did the boob vase, which I just showed you. And this is a mini bum and this one is 65 pounds. So again, it's expensive what it is but it is a piece of art uh, and it's just such a nice little talking point I think these stack so nicely on books and stuff like that a few of my friends have bought them since seeing it in my home and they love them it's really cool it adds a nice texture to your home and again it's just like a nice fun kind of talking point and I'm all about that with your home I think it's great to kind of kind of experiment and have a little bit of fun as well I know often it can be tempting to go very safe and you know have everything one color and stuff like that but I do think it's fun to sort of accessorize with sort of different things like this or add a little bit more color in with your accessories okay and then my last thing I want to chat about is bedding and towels so kind of group them into one category because I want to talk about the ones that I really recommend so there's a few bedding companies that I really recommend and I think getting the right bedding is so important we spend like over half our lives in bed so that's a lot of time to not be in nice bedding I think it's so important it means you'll get a better night's sleep you'll feel more refreshed and then in general you're going to feel happier so a few places that I really recommend for bedding is Dusk is really good uh, there's a company called TL TL I think that's how you say it and basically it is a company that provides all the luxury hotels with their bedding uh, and they now sell their own bedding as well obviously it's like you know it's at a good rate so that's a good um, place to check out white company has amazing bedding and i know it's expensive but it really does feel luxurious we actually often will like ask you know for money towards it for christmas and stuff like that because it's just such a nice thing to have it washes so beautifully it always looks lovely and crisp so i really recommend those three places obviously also john lewis home sense places like that do really nice bedding but i do think it is definitely something that i would recommend investing in because it's just obviously, as I said, something that you'll use so, so much. 
and then following on from that having nice fluffy towels is also such a lovely kind of luxurious thing to have in your home and again something that I do recommend investing in especially if you invest in a good quality product they will last you forever I bought some towels from the white company about five years ago and they're still going strong <laughs> Also, always put your towel in the tumble dryer because it makes it so much fluffier. I don't understand people that don't do it. Like, it's just crispy otherwise. So always put it in the tumble dryer if you like a fluffy towel. But I do think there's something so nice about getting out of the shower or the bath and having, like, a really beautifully soft, fluffy towel for you. And even if that's if you live in your parents' house or something and you just want to buy your own towel, um, I just think being at home and being able to have those little luxuries is definitely something that's kind of like quite helpful to get through this time so i think that's a really nice thing to either gift somebody or to buy it for yourself so guys that is the end of my video i just wanted to say here this isn't me saying you need to buy all of these things for your house to feel like a home not at all i'm not saying that at all obviously you know your house feeling like a home is so relative to you these are just some ideas of things that you might want to think about in terms of accessorizing your home or if you're wondering where to begin in terms of styling and decoration and stuff these are a few recommendations there is no part of me that is telling you that you need all of this and I appreciate that a lot of this isn't particularly practical but it's just nice things to have in your home so it's fully up to you if your budget is allowing for that and yeah that's all I kind of want to say on that I just don't want anyone to think that they have to have all of these things for their home to be nice because that is not the case at all it's just purely bits and bobs that you might want to use to accessorize and as I said you can get these pieces for a lot cheaper in antiques markets secondhand stores charity shops eBay Etsy like places like that there's loads of you know Facebook marketplace is actually brilliant for stuff like this so I fully recommend looking on there as well if you are on a bit of a tighter budget so that is the end of my video I really hope that you enjoyed it let me know if you want to see some more homeware content and if so what you want to see and I will see you in my next video also I feel like a lot of people probably don't know because I don't talk about it that much but I do have a home account it's at Ruby Holly home I'll leave it linked down below so if you want to go over there and follow along uh, you'll probably see like this sort of stuff before it makes it onto YouTube. So yeah, it'd be great to see you over there and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.